Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of man, and he brought her to Adam. It's an important concept that we're going to talk about here. And he brought her to Adam. Then the man said, This is my bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. I cannot believe we are finally here. In some ways it feels like just yesterday when we met, but in others it feels like a lifetime ago. As I think of all the things, the one thing they have in common is that I picture you in all of them. I know we'll be together as we continue to experience life together. That makes me very happy. Starting today, let's pay our own way. Love, Clayton. Clayton, as I'm writing this letter, I can't help but tear up thanking of you and the love we have for each other. You, Clayton, are my absolute dream. I cherish our love immensely, and I cannot imagine my life without you. The moment I step foot to walk down the aisle, I will feel this overwhelming exuberance, and I know that it is only a start to what is to come throughout our lifetime together. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hated his own flesh. Do not lose prayer in your marriage. Each and every day, pray together as a couple. Pray individually. Do not lose prayer. You cannot be any closer to God than when you are in prayer. I, Taylor, take the Clayton to be my husband to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, in joy and sorrow, and I promise my love to you. My goal in our marriage is to be the woman of Proverbs 31. I want to be your rock, your listener, and your constant supporter. I promise to be there for you always, and I know you will do the same for me. I love you with all of my heart, and I cannot wait to be your wife for the rest of my life. See my rhyming skills. I can't wait to start my forever with you. Love you forever and always. Take.